Cyberpunk 2077 had one of the worst video game releases ever. Whenever people talk about poor video game releases, it is more than likely that they are going to reference Cyberpunk, No Man's Sky or Fallout 76. Now the thing is, and No Man's Sky over the years had a great comeback. Now ever since Cyberpunk 2077's release, people were talking about Cyberpunk's own comeback on the same quality as No Man's Sky's. And up until this point, it hasn't really come. There's been a lot of patches and fixes to the game, but it still wasn't polished enough. But now with patch 2.0, Cyberpunk 2077's comeback is complete. I swallow all my drugs so the penis unplugged. When the laws of entropy touch, you better dread the judge. Wiser men than us been crushed to find dust. When a fortune cookie dummy unfucked, I just shrug. A note like a broken electrical pole song. But a gun, but a scum of the circuitry on the run. Now to start off with, I'm going over some of the more negatives about this game overall and some of the things I was hoping would change or that they would better, but they didn't. And the first of this is the world and the fact that it feels very hands-off. Now what do I mean by hands-off? Well, it's the fact that Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't really have much for the player to interact with with regards to the world. Basic things like sitting down at a bench or a chair is not really an option. The same thing counts for the multiple bars that you can visit and the fact that you can't sit and have a drink at one of these bars. Now you can do this at some of your apartments where you can sit down and have a drink and I would have liked it if you could do this at all of the bars. I wish there was more interaction, more mini games. I know that there are new mini games that they added in, but there should have been more. There are casinos that you can go into, but you can't do anything there. And again, I think that adding these type of stuff in the game would have helped the world feel more like a real world, a world that you can interact with instead of just feeling like a prop. Now one of the things I was hoping that CD Projekt Red would fix in this latest patch were the gangs and the fact that the gangs are basically just there for the player to fight and that's it. Each area in the game has a gang or two that is basically dominant over that area. Now I would have hoped that by doing those NCPD errands and taking out those gangs members, the gangs would react by sending gang members to chase you in the streets or send out a hitman or assassin to take care of you whenever you are driving around in Night City. Now I think something like that would have been a nice touch and would have given the player an incentive to actually want to drive around in the hopes that a random event like that would happen. And especially now with the vehicle combat, being chased by a bunch of gang members would have been pretty awesome, in my opinion. Now, another thing is the fact that there still isn't that much customization in terms of the vehicles. You still can't buy a vehicle and customize it. Even something as simple as just painting it a different color is still not an option. I want to talk about the things that have been really improved and that really stands out for me in this new patch. Combat in Cyberpunk 2077 became good quite some time back. I really like the combat in this game and now it's even better. I would go as far as to say that Cyberpunk 2077's combat is one of the best combat systems in any open world game. And some of the new changes with the patch makes it way better. I think there are small changes to the patch like the fact that whenever you shoot you drain stamina and the fact that the dodge and the slide animation has changed which just in my opinion looks way better 
I also think that the new perk system is a real improvement and I could really feel a massive difference by purchasing these perks and using them instead of the previous perks that weren't really that noticeable. The new vehicle combat system feels fantastic and the fact that the vehicles can now be damaged in ways that actually will affect you when you're driving, for example, the fact that you can puncture vehicle tires is really cool. And the addition of the new police system is also great. Now again, I don't think that this is a groundbreaking police system, but it's pretty good and it's up there with some of the best in these type of open world games. Now the story for me in Cyberpunk 2077 is pretty good. I really love the story. I don't think it's as good as The Witcher 3 or The Witcher 2's, but it's still a very good story. One of the big complaints about the story is the fact that it's very linear. None of the choices you can really make is really worth anything. But overall, I would say that the story is good and it is worth experiencing. Now, I did complain about the world, but there are some good stuff that has been added to the world now with this new patch. Cyberpunk has always had these gang members scattered around. You can come across them sitting there and doing nothing or beating somebody up, which I think is a nice touch. And it really adds to the fact that Cyberpunk is really a terrible city filled with gangs and violence. And now with this new patch, you can actually come across gang members fighting in the streets and chasing each other in car chases, which I think is a really nice touch to add to this chaotic and violent city. So in conclusion, is Cyberpunk 2077 a perfect game? Absolutely not. Is it a game of the year worthy game? I don't think so. But I think what we have is a very good game. I think it slightly falls short of a game of the year game if it were to release in this year. But it's still a very good game. I think that there is a lot to like about this game. Again, I think the story is worth experiencing. I think the combat in this game is fantastic and I think that overall there's a lot of fun to have in Cyberpunk 2077. I think Cyberpunk 2077 just needs a little bit more finesse, more polish. There's a little bit more that needs to be added to make this game a brilliant game and I am really hoping that they do that in the sequel whenever the hell that comes out sometime. But overall, I would definitely recommend Cyberpunk 2077, especially in the state that it is now. So that's it for this video. Thank you and bye-bye.